Now you guys don't you know me for my series, how to pay off your car loan, my $25, $7,525 series on helping people pay off their cars so they don't have to keep them more than six. So they don't pay off your car, have a car no more than 60 months. You have a car that's basically useless or you watch my unemployment series or my conspiracy theories. So right now, just finish running for like an hour and 20 minutes. So, okay, it's actually an hour and 60 minutes. Started at 9.21, ended at 9.37. So, one hour, 16 minutes. So, sitting here in Palm Springs, quiet. Looking to my left, looks like someone broke to, broke into someone's car. I see a whole bunch of glass on the side. That's just a sign of the times. You know, when you got 30 million people out of work. I'm in California, so if you figure there's 30 million people out of work, I'm sure there's at least 10, 10 probably got two. Wouldn't be surprised me if you have five to ten million or even more here, but you wouldn't know it, man. Every time I go out, Mercedes, Audis, BMWs, like wow, man, I'm hurt, man. I'm, I'm taking a, a ten percent pay cut. That's why I'm working my commission job. I'm working a job helping as a tax collector. I've been working some selling some stuff I have or helping people with different side projects. I'm going to do a project with Burlington Store Factory where I help them open their stores. So go out and do some sales and hand out flyers and stuff to people. See what we can't do to triple their business to get their business going again. So, but I, I didn't go out this. Did you guys go out this weekend, man? I went to the gym for like an hour. After that, I was at home. But in my apartment complex, all these people coming to visit. I don't know where they, I, I don't know where, where mama, where buddy tina dick or whatever but everyone's coming to my place you know so like it wouldn't surprise me with the covid thing all of a sudden everybody thinks they got to go see somebody it's like you didn't want to see your fucking family when you were when there was no covid or so and so friend even before this happened but now all of a sudden you want to come come out and like oh let's spend every loving weekend time you both are broke man come on man i know Half of you guys are like, you're on unemployment. That $600 is about to run out, man. And then some of you guys out there buying alcohol. Yeah, I'm chastising you. Buying alcohol for 4th of July. Yeah, we're going to celebrate 4th of July. What? What are you celebrating? Half of you been at home since March. What was there to celebrate? The fireworks are going to be when that $600 check runs out. What you going to do, man? Are you going to you rush back? You want some fireworks? Wait till people start going back to the workplace. You get all the fireworks you can handle, man. People going to try to pay that. Like, look, this, look, like next to me, look at that. Glass on the ground. Well, you know what happens? Someone's broken there. See if they can get something for free, man. So instead of just saying, hey, let me take something to the marketplace or let me help a person out, I'm just going to go steal something. Make a mess for somebody else. Let me just mess somebody else because I ain't got shit. So why not just go fuck up someone else's day, huh? Is that That's what's going to happen, man. So today is Sunday. So what I want you to do is think about, okay, 4th of July is on Saturday. What can you do at least till Wednesday? I'm, I'm going to give two. I'm not give, I, I know some of you guys don't have the energy to get to Wednesday before you, hey, man, let's party. Or the brothers that want a barbecue. Or Hispanic brothers want to do tortillas. Like, I'm going to make a tortillas. Like, that just makes me laugh, man. All of a sudden, everybody wants to get around everyone, each other. You know, everyone's driving. I was, at the, I was like, even at, like, there's, I, the, so, it's over. There's no such thing as social distancing. Other than L.A. County, which is a dump anyway, man. Even if there's no COVID-19, L.A. County, there's always something. I grew up at 385 East 116 place. You got homeless all over there. And if you go downtown, you got homeless for two and three blocks. So God only knows that the fuck's floating around down there. So that should be expected. That should be the norm. Should be what it should be the norm. Not as if there's something new going on. But that's what I'm saying. If you depend on the government, Social Security one day, EBT, next day, homeless. You'd be down there on skid row. Hoping some people come around on Thanksgiving or Christmas and feed you something. Or we'll come around when we test to see if you got any damn diseases or something like that. Is that how you want to live your life, man? So you got to start making decisions now. Things are, things are going to get worse before they get better, man. As soon as that's... Because that's, some of you guys were making more money at home than you were actually working, man. So that's why it's going to be so bad. And the government said, oops, that was a mistake to get people $600 a week. For what, man? That's all I was saying. Back in when I got laid off in 1995, 
I have was like $1,440. That is how much I got for my unemployment, man. I was for a month. And some people were getting like, we're making, have been making about 54, I get three extra 3,000. Yeah, there's been progress. I didn't even get the $1,200 bonus, man. And they say, that was not when Bush came around, you got that $100. And now, like I said, they didn't qualify, brother. So we made progress. This brother made a lot of money. So there's no $1,200 for me, man. But what are you going to do today, man? What I recommend you do is like, first thing you got to do, you got three days left. So you got to make a push. Now you got to make the push for the for for July 6th. So go back, reassess all the money, figure out what your expenses are. After that, figure out what you can get out rid of, and then first thing you do, cancel any unnecessary vacations. You don't need to be going on any vacations. There's no, there's no trips, man. Because about July 8th or 9th, any place that has a job opening, you're gonna see like these long lines. Watch what I say. Was I right about the Huntington Beach protesters in the state opening up? Hey, trust me. One thing I know, I know politics. I've seen it from both sides. I've seen it from the Democrat side, and I've seen it from the Republican side. So this is the time that you guys to go out. Check, check your budget. Double check your budget. And now if you can get back to work, get the job. Even if you have unemployment, what did I tell you? Even if you have unemployment, Go out and get a job anyway, because they'll just deduct the amount of money you make off your unemployment check, and you'll be able to like get back in a job place. Because all of a sudden, like for the Burlington Co Factory, they said, "How much do you want an hour?" I said, "Just give me twelve an hour. I'm working a commission job. I just need enough money to get my eighty-five dollar phone bill paid. After that, I'll do the rest." Because I, because I'm like, you have all these leads internet leads basically i like i agree with grant mostly a cold call people forget or they hang around all their broke friends i'm doing okay i'm doing okay you know you're not doing okay man i see you shopping at aldi shopping at dollar general you got to buy dollar general buying fruit i'm the 99 cent store you're gonna buy some fruit i just like love it you know why i know that because my grandmother if i didn't have money to take her to superior market she would have been shopping at the 99 cent store so i had to come out of my pocket because her she used to work at sears for like 35 years she did great she got a good retirement but then sears like of course when you don't sell and the businesses grow that's why i say you guys need to work a commission job you need to see what happens when money does not come in because they uh, ended up trying to buy Kmart so they bought Kmart and that was the end one day it was the first they cut the first it was reduced to uh, health care then you had to pay a little bit then reduced it to more then, hey why don't you just chip in five dollars and then eventually zero uh, we're not offering you the health money so I gave the money for that so that's why I say and then I, I don't know and so it's like your company you may even if you retire you think these may be good for you but then after you retire it's like what's going to happen with who's managing that money and that's what happened to Sears you see they tried to buy Kmart for some reason don't know why they bought Kmart I'll never know so and then you have no retirement that's why you got to go out there like what I tell you we got a generation that has zero percent interest so when you go to the bank there's something called passive interest say I put a thousand dollars in the bank and I have eight to ten percent interest at the end of the year that would be eighty dollars or if, say if it's ten thousand dollars and I had ten percent that's a thousand dollars passive income that you would have generated without working so what that means is it's like it's like kind of like a cash flow without having to work now if you cut to it today if you put a thousand dollars in the bank at the end of the year your account has gone down to nine thousand six hundred and thirty three dollars you said what happened Martin? well the bank fees so that's what you got a generation now who don't know what a return on investment is that's why I have like the series I'm gonna start for you it's gonna be called I have the lottery one which when a, when a lottery gets above two hundred dollars you can join my special lottery fund where we have some strategies and we're gonna talk about some ways we can make some money with the lottery also I'm gonna have my blackjack retirement fund where I'm gonna go to downtown Grand Tan, downtown Grand, Las Vegas, California. I'm going to put money. I'm going to take $200 to bet the standard hands, $200 for the splits and double downs, and $200 for the parlay because they have the parlays because I play the multiple decks, and with the multiple decks, you get diamonds, kings. You just get all these series of things. So 
they obviously say they have been put I've been thinking about do I really want to play the parlays do I really want to play the parlays but I think you know they may have a point there I see multiple decks enough tens and it's only like I'll pay like a max of five dollars for the parlays then I'll double down so my goal is to say if we can't take six hundred dollars and turn it into a thousand dollars so that means that'll be six hundred dollars times four so I'm saying I'm gonna make four hundred dollars so I'm gonna make a four hundred dollars which means I'm gonna to try to double my money no not really double try to make a it's like forty percent return on the money because I know I may or may not lose because there's a whole bunch of strategies but we got a generation of people who don't know what they got they always they're all gonna to have to always put their money at risk there's no such thing as hey let me put my money in a bond market like say you can put your money in a bond market that's hard to understand but you're just getting money back without working so now you got a generation who they're all they're gonna do is like their money's always gonna be at risk that's why you probably see people just saying fuck it like Grant Cardone says, I, I can't get ahead, I, I, I don't get enough, I don't get paid enough, I don't I just go buy that expensive car. So I know you got a generation of people who are buying cars who look rich, but they're broke. Especially when you go to the hood, like I see, I tell you man, there's more luxury cars in the hood than there is in Beverly Hills. That's all I got to say. I'm like, man, what's up? You live in a cross of a warehouse, man. Or if you drive through, like, what did the, I call him Mr. Roboto, you go buy all those Pro Lodges, um, Pet Boys, Amazon. If you go by all the different warehouses, you'll see like all these expensive cars. Like in the morning, this black guy, Pat, yeah, I'm calling him a black guy. Is that, is that politically correct? So he passes me by, so he has his Mercedes, so he's passing by. The Mercedes has one light out on the right side, so I'm like, all of that. Then I have the other people who they'll cut out because they're trying to go out for like their half an hour lunch then after that they'll park they're, they like you they kill you they're, 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 God, those kids will kill you to get to work man half of them probably living at home all you make is fifteen dollars an hour so I remember when I was younger I worked in the warehouse so I think it's funny because when I was younger I worked in the warehouse so Calvin and I worked at Petavina Mode and Die Gardena California so we we just you know at the end of the day we did all the stuff you guys be doing be packing pack putting stuff away no 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 Steve and his dad said hey go out there pack go out there run us run the run the manufacturing machine solder clean up the parts put the parts together assemble what you need then at the end of the day we did the stuff with UPS shipping and all that but we were producing that's why I say in my day child molesters murderers, people on parole, I don't derelicts, I don't know, what else do you say, illegals, all worked at warehouses when I was younger, now you got a whole generation of people working at warehouses, driving luxury cars, living at home, I don't know how you can sustain a country of Amazon workers, so you guys comment, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like, let me know what you think, man, that's why I have my $25, $75, dollars program. If you're going to pay for the car, why don't you pay it off early? Especially since some of you guys want, because the car companies, they, they, they don't help, man. They look, oh, oh, he can pay for the car. He has rent. He has this. And, oh, fuck it. Give him the car. Let's just, let's just, let's just get what I can get, man. And, that, and that's not good either, man. I understand just giving a person something, but... Come on, man. The kids, 18, 19, they don't, they, they, they ain't gonna, they know you know they ain't gonna maintain the car. And if they maintain the car, can I get a courtesy car? Can I get a courtesy car? Begging for a courtesy car. No, you get no damn courtesy car, man. Go rent one. What are you gonna do? Is, is this covered under the warranty? You know why I know? Because I had a 2007 Beamer and I got caught in that 2008 downturn when the gas prices spiked and stuff. I know what it's like to look for cheap gas and stuff after a while, especially on a luxury car. You'll stop shopping for that cheap gas because that's going to kill your engine. That's what I learned or mess up something. So you're just like, okay, you'll just bite the bullet and pay the gas and you'll try to go to like the secondary car mechanic places. <laughs> it take you four or five days to get your car back. That's even worse. You got a courtesy car? No, you got a courtesy car. Well, secondhand mechanic, man. It's like the dealer. Boy, go rent your car, man. Or we work with one, they'll pay you. If not, I don't care. Shit, take car to the dealer. Love take your money. We're gonna, gonna, we're gonna take your money, and the car dealer gonna take your money. Pick the choice. Since you're broke, you're probably gonna stay here or find us something, Richie. Hey man, good friend, go on Craigslist. So 
That's why I had that $25, $75, $125 package for you. Pay off the car loan like I'm doing. Like, I'm just kidding. Let me do it right now. I think it here. I have my car loan thing. It shows. It's not there. It's somewhere in my drawer at work. And, like, it shows that I pay $384. But of that $384, $339 is principal or something. So, I add an extra $16, $20. I'll find out exactly for you. But I'm trying to I put $2,000 down. I have 60 months of payment. So let's say I'm only putting, paying $16 extra. So like 16 times 12, that's like $200 almost. Time five over five year period. So that's like a hundred something, 1,000 something. And then you divide that by whatever, 400. So that's at least a minimum of three months, five months of payments that I've paid. With my, like, so each month, this is what I'm saying. It's like each year I'm paying a month off my car note. So that means after... 60 months before the 60 month period i would have paid off the car in 55 months 54 months instead of the complete 60 months and the car is worth something that's what you want to do because any car that goes past 60 months all you're paying for is just a gap insurance which is or just makes no sense to me if a car is depreciated after 60 months all you are paying for i guess is just a replacement cost of the car with them just depreciating a car i guess over like a seven year period and stuff, stuff like the IR, IRS period, but I bet you if you get into an accident, they ain't gonna pay you for no 60 months. Now, what is it paying? What, what are you paying? I bet you get into my 66 and you try to get into get into a car accident and try to get them to pay you something. Yeah, get them money because the car is worth zero. On the bank's book, the car is worth zero. However, they play with the insurance, I don't know, but they do it. But you ain't gonna get no money back. They may give you five dollars, give you a thousand dollars back. Hey, Toss you a bone, you think you got something, you don't waste it all a bunch of money. That's why I need to pay off these cars earlier. At least get your car paid off one to two months ahead of time, especially if you're laid off. So when you go back in and you're looking for that job, you don't want to have that weight of owing money, having to pay the car note. I've done that. I, and I was only paying two ninety nine for a Nissan Pathfinder. Had to pay about another six hundred and forty dollars for Marissa Apartments. So after at the end of the, at the, after that I was like two hundred dollars to live on at the end of the month, not eligible for food stamps or anything, because I was working I had worked for the government, so I had some money saved up. So I don't know what EBT is. I was get no EBT. They say no Negro, no EBT. Maybe for the other people in the hood, but not for you. So I said I just laugh when I hear BT people. Got EBT? No. Why don't you just take money out of my pocket? Hey, stop! Don't let her use the EBT. Yeah, her, him, black, white, I don't care. Take my car, take, take my cash, because it's coming somewhere. The ABT ain't coming from out of space. So that's what I'm talking about, man. Get those cars paid off, and like as you head in, make sure you double off, tri if, try to triple your work between now and July 2nd, July 1st. To try to just work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Give me all you got, man. Give me all you got, because you know you're going to shut it down. Or if even you don't shut it down, you're going to have a bunch of loud people around you giving you all, making all kind of noise. So you probably won't get as much done as you possibly can. But until now, till then, do all you can. Because after that July 4th, ain't nobody got no $600 bonus. They're all going to be rushing back to the marketplace. And you see like what I got here? Look, someone like came in and broke a glass. You're going to have a little bit more of that coming soon. More broken glass. Not good. Broken glass is coming, man. Only way to get that broken glass fixed, you're going to have to have money. Because the person who broke that glass, they were looking for something for free. And that's not you. I know that's not who I'm talking to. I'm talking to people that say, hey, Martin, I want to do better. I don't want to be a slave. I don't want to be stressing out over money. I don't want to be shopping at no Audis. Oh, God. That's a story for another day. Let me tell you quickly. I remember I went, I remember I went to Audis after the, all people started buying toilet paper. People buying up shit. I just crappy food man I, I mean if you guys bought up canned vegetables mix, I just laugh canned vegetables mixed vegetables just people just do nasty now it's just, it's just crazy stuff right, now you guys still buying up alcohol but why aren't you buying the food what's going on you got guests even buy, you guys ain't buying toilet paper as much anymore man it's starting to replenish huh guess when you ain't got no money from the government ain't no use of buying no shit paper cause you're already fucked if you know what I mean so 
And if you don't want to join my $25, $75, $120, $25 programs, hey, just join my channel. Just keep up with me. Just do half. Just do half of what I do. If you guys just do only half, do half. If you only do like a quarter of what I do, you'll be ahead of like the 25 million people who are out of work right now. Hey, you'll be ahead of the person right here who next to me who broke into someone's car to try to look for something for free. Ah, so embarrassing. So sad. But things are going to get worse before they get better. But until then, get your job now, watch your finances, and just educate yourself, man. What can you do to add to an employer? There's 20 million, there's 20 million people who think Biden or Trump's going to take care of them. Ain't nobody ever take care of them. I don't know why I came in a broke person. If you, were, you wouldn't have been laid off if someone was going to take care of you, so you're already in a bad place. So now it's time for you to take care of yourself. Join the channel. Subscribe. Talk to you later.